Right now, a noon police release surveillance video showing a car speeding down a North Philadelphia street moments before it hits a 27-year-old part-time Temple University student, killing him. Overnight, police recovered the car. The search, though, continues for the driver. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. And I'm Janelle Burrell. This is Eyewitness News at Noon, now also streaming live on CBS and Philly. Police wrapping up a news conference just moments ago. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed is at the scene. So, Alicia, what's the latest? That driver was going so fast that on impact, the victim flew out of his shoes. Now, right behind me is 8th Street. And as you can see, it's a very narrow one way with cars lined up on both sides of the streets. Now, that driver was speeding in the wrong direction. Surveillance footage recently obtained by CBS 3 from a nearby home shows the victim crossing the street and the car flying through the intersection at a high rate of speed. Police acknowledge pedestrians always have the right of way when crossing the street and the victim may not have seen the car coming in the opposite direction. The 27-year-old suffered severe head trauma and other bodily injuries. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Now investigators confirm a gray Hyundai recovered three blocks away with front end damage at 8th and Burks is the same car involved in the hit and run. They have an idea who the owner of the car is but aren't sure if he was the driver at the time of the accident. We are looking for a driver. Uh, we have a vehicle in custody. We know that it is the vehicle. Eventually we will get the driver. Uh, I would encourage the driver to examine their conscience and do the right thing and give us a call and tell us their side of the story. Again, we just learned from police that the 27-year-old victim was a part-time student at Temple University. Right now, they're encouraging anyone with surveillance footage or additional information that could help with this investigation to give them a call. Reporting live from North Philadelphia, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Let's hope someone comes forward, Alicia. Thank you.